Hello everyone and welcome to the Shizen Hogoku Zoo here on Planet Zoo in our franchise mode. Today we're bringing in the Chinese pangolins that are going to be a new addition to our zoo, which is really awesome. These guys are pretty cool, but just a little bit of background information before we really get started here. We do have these guys coming in as an endangered species because they are hunted and they are used for traditional medicine. So therefore we're going to give them a new home. And by starting off, we do build a nice little structure here, castle-like structure, I should say. It does fit into our East Asia theme. The only thing is that it does look a little bit more functional than other buildings because we don't give it too much of a themed design. So therefore, it's gonna be a little bit different. And thankfully, we can replace the section where our Bengal tigers used to be a long time ago. And then we're going to renovate this area, which is great because it's no longer a big dirt pit. So that's really awesome. We are going to be doing a few different things here. We're gonna be adding in a garden, obviously the habitat itself, and then we're going to edit the staff path a little bit so it does hide from our main guest viewing area. So therefore it does work out a little bit better for the visual sake of our zoo. So we're actually gonna skip forward because oddly enough, I spent way too much time making the building itself. We end up adding in some nice little decoration on the outside of it toward our main pathway. Now about the pathway, we actually do have a main pathway which I want people to take. One problem that I did see is that people may cut through the building to actually get to other parts of the park, so therefore I kind of edit this pathway a little bit so people don't end up using it as a cut through. So people in this park are going to find that the most direct path is by not cutting through the building. So that concern is out of the way, which is good. Now we do use an arch-like structure toward our viewing area for our guests and we use this toward our advantage because we want to add in some nice glass so people can view through that glass. One thing that I did misjudge is how big these Chinese pangolins are. They're actually not big at all and they're actually pretty small so therefore I had to change the size of this a few times. It was just kind of a whole mess so I kind of just skipped forward it so you guys don't have to deal with it. What I ended up doing is we ended up expanding the building once again and adding in a side section to this building where there is no additional entrance or exit. So therefore it is another viewing area. It doesn't congest our building a whole lot. So it ends up being a nice little addition to this building. It would be something that you would see as a renovation to the building, but I had to do it so soon just because I knew the habitat wasn't going to survive pretty well without me editing this structure. So there's nothing special about the structure addition. We end up doing the same thing, adding in some nice little glass viewing areas so therefore our people can see our Chinese pangolins from a different perspective. Now inside this building, we do use a grid-like structure pathway system. So therefore our people can move around freely and not run into things, which is very important. But what we end up doing is we end up replicating something that we did in our Aldabra tortoise habitat back in the Serengeti Zoo, which was our last episode, where we actually brought in a concrete floor and we just sunk it down so our pathway was not consistent from outside to inside. So it is very different and it looks like it has a nice foundation to the building. We also do end up using this metal barrier, which you do see toward our staff entrance for our, you know, like keepers to get in and kind of fill up the barrels of food and stuff like that, which we do end up keeping for just about now, but only in one section. Other than that, toward our building side, we do add in some rock in between our little addition to the building, along with our concrete wall, which is used for our Bengal tigers currently. You don't really notice it too much once you add in some nice rock toward this habitat, so it makes it seem like that this habitat isn't as constrained as it would normally look if you just had a straight up flat barrier. It ends up giving it some nice shape, which was very important for this habitat to be successful in its looks. But once we do end up figuring out the size of the habitat, I was very happy with this. We end up doing a few different things. These guys are pretty small, so therefore we want to make sure our guests also had a good view of them. And one thing that I end up doing differently is actually adding in an enrichment item toward the side by the rocks. And what I ended up doing is instead of adding in my enrichment items in later, I did it first, which I don't usually do. What we ended up doing is we put in this little food box type thing. It's a hexagon shape. 
and what they end up doing is like these guys will walk over there and start digging for insects because that's what they eat and we end up putting some shrubs around it so therefore it looks a little bit more natural which is not something that I usually do so it was pretty interesting and I thought it really gave this habitat a unique look compared to other times in this park. But as for their living situation, they do need to have a nice hard shelter. Therefore, these guys do burrow themselves inside soil and around rocky-like structures. So therefore, we end up giving these guys a cave-like structure. And it was a little bit difficult because they're supposed to bury themselves. So what ended up happening is that this almost looked like a cave just kind of like in the middle of a habitat, which was a little bit weird. So it was a little bit difficult to do, trying to mimic a natural hard shelter. So let me know if you guys like that or not, because I really tried to do something new with this because these guys do burrow themselves. But another thing that we did differently is we actually placed it in the center where our hard shelters are usually placed off to the side or toward the back of a habitat. This is something that we did differently just so our visitors could actually get a different perspective on these guys and it was a little bit of a weird unique thing that we did to this habitat to make it different than our other habitats. Then of course we add in some of our other enrichment items. We end up adding in I think like a ball for them to play with. We end up having that little food enrichment item over there where they could dig up insects. We also gave them a box and two eating stations as well. One toward the front and one toward the back. These guys do get stressed easily so once again I kind of forgot that fact and I thought like, you know what, hopefully that they're kind of located further down, these guys aren't going to get distracted by the guests as much. I turned out to be wrong, but we end up adding in some like, please do not disturb signs, which I kind of forget to add in every speed build. So after the fact, we end up fixing that. But toward the front, we do have a little bit of a situation where our terrain, once again, is very steep and very weird. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. So we end up adding in the concrete structure again to where we make it seem like it kind of covers it up a little bit and it's obviously man-made, but it seems like it's meant to be there as in for our foundation of the building. We also try to hide this a little bit for our Chinese pangolins. Believe it or not, they actually do want to climb up there toward the barrier and they've kind of run up against the glass. So it's very strange, but I try to get them not to do that later on. We also add in some plants toward the front of that as well, so it kind of hides it for our Chinese pangolins and gives it a little bit of a better design. It's nothing too much, it's just a small minor detail. We also provide this habitat with some bamboo toward our staff entrance, so it kind of hides the metal structure there of the barrier a little bit. It didn't do it perfectly, but it did it a little bit to where it kind of minimized the effect of making it seem like everything's a little bit too much of a man-made structure. So therefore, we're probably going to replace that barrier later. Let me know if anyone has any ideas because I do not have any ideas on what to do for that yet. We may replace it with wood, but I am not sure. These guys actually do climb, so believe it or not, like it's kind of strange. We have to have at least a two and a half meter structure, and we end up completing that with our metal fence, which they can't climb up on, and those rocks, it, they can't climb up on that either. So it ends up working out. These guys can't escape, which is a good thing about this habitat. We also had to do some edits with our building because it was slightly off a little bit and our people could kind of clip through the side of the wall just slightly. So we ended up moving it and after we did that we ended up going into building some decorations inside our building. We also included three education boards about the animal itself. One actually didn't work and that's the one that was closest to our main path. So I don't know if it was detecting the other habitat or if it was just too far away from this one. but. Basically, we just ended up turning it off for the meantime until I figured out that situation. We also end up adding in four educational boards on conservation. We end up adding in two sets, one about traditional medicine and one about hunting and poaching, which are the two biggest issues with these animals. And actually the Chinese pangolin is actually shown on one of them, which I kind of just noticed now. <laughs> so it adds in that little extra detail, which makes this habitat unique. Of course, we add in a bunch of East Asia themed items such as lights and some nice little art designs as well. So we end up making this building seem a little bit more toward the design of things. And we make it try to seem like it's a little bit less functional than it actually is, but we try to kind of balance that a little bit, which is very important when you make a zoo. 
But then moving on, you see that people are rushing in. We're actually gonna have some time fly by because I wanted to get over to something else. We also did have a little bit of a dark setting when we were building that habitat, which I wanted to kind of get a pass because it is franchise mode. I can't always control that. So what we end up doing is we, we also added in that little staff entrance there to where our staff kind of are hidden and the staff path is kind of hidden. It's kind of obvious that people shouldn't go back there unless they work here. We end up adding in a little vehicle so our staff can get around the park. And we also add in a dumpster as well. Then what we end up doing is we end up adding in a garden. This is the only garden we do. We only place it on the left-hand side. We don't place it on the right-hand side because I'm thinking we do something else with that area later. Haven't decided what to do with that yet but we're gonna figure it out. But we end up adding in some ferns toward the front of the palm trees and some of those new little flower or leaf, purple leaf, whatever you wanna call it, I don't know what it's called, up against the wall there. That really ends up working out well. The ferns look like they're newly planted as well. So it actually really looks neat and it feels like you're walking into a zoo once you actually enter the zoo now and it doesn't look like a construction zone, which is really nice. Other than that, we don't have anything else to talk about, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to help support out the channel. I would highly appreciate it. Any comments or suggestions on what to do with that area beside our new habitat would be greatly appreciated. But other than that, I shall see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.